thereby triumph over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, help us mankind. Accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication even from us sinners, and deliver us from every deadly and dark transgression, and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail our flesh to the fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts, but wound our souls with thy love that ever gazes upon thee. Guided by thy light and beholding thee the eternal life that no man can approach, we may send up unceasing praises and thanks unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thy only God and Son, and thy most holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto age of ages. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Oh, 
help us, save us, have mercy on us. Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Save us, save us. 
And the firmament proclaims his handiwork. said to the vine dresser, Behold, I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree for three years, and found none. Cut it down. Why does it waste the soil? But the gardener answered, Lord, let it be for this year also, until I dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit, fine. But if not, after that you can cut it down. Son and of the Holy Spirit. On this day, among the saints that we commemorate, are uh, among them are John the Merciful, 
Patriarch of Alexandria and also um, Barton the Merciful, Bishop of Tours, and a St. Nihilus, uh, the Faster of Mount Sinai. St. John the Merciful was born in 555 on the island of Cyprus in the city of Amathus. His father, Epiphanius, was a ruler of Cyprus. The saint was consecrated Archbishop of Alexandria in 608. A man of exemplary uprightness in his zeal for orthodoxy, he strove mightily to fight the many heresies among Christians in Egypt, but above all, he was famous for his singular generosity, humility, and sympathy towards all, especially the poor. His mercy was so great that the report of it reached the Persian invaders of Jerusalem who desired to see him because of it. St. John reposed in 619 at the age of 64. St. Martin, the great luminary of Gaul, was the son of pagan parents. When he was still quite young, he became a catechumen. At the age of 22, he received holy baptism. Then he undertook the labors of a monk and was afterwards consecrated Bishop of Tours. Renowned as an ascetic and a wonder worker, he was a faithful shepherd of Christ's flock. He converted many, both from paganism and heresy, cast out demons, raised the dead, and while undertaking all the apostolic burdens of a bishop, he never ceased to be a simple monk and a man of prayer. His monastery became a center of monasticism, not only for Gaul, but for all of Western Europe. A widely celebrated incident of his life took place when he was still a catechumen, fulfilling his military service. Seeing an ill-clad beggar asking for alms at the gate of the city of Amiens and being overlooked by passerby, by passerby Saint Martin, having nothing else to give, rent his military cloak in two with his sword and gave half to the baker so that he might cover himself in the cold. That night, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him. I don't know why I find that so good. I just do. That night, the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him, clothed with half of the cloak that he had given to the beggar. Martin's cloak, capella in Latin, was kept in a sanctuary which came to be called capella, from which the word chapel is derived. And those under whose care it was kept were called the capellani, from which chaplain is derived. St. Martin reposed in peace in the year 397. St. Nihilus had Constantinople as his homeland, and he was a disciple of St. John Chrysostom. He had formerly been an eparch of the city, and then he became an ascetic on Mount Sinai. He wrote epistles and various ascetical works, and reposed in 451. Through the prayers of our fathers among the saints, John the Merciful, Archbishop of, 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 of Alexandria, Martin the Merciful, Bishop of Tours, and Nihilus the Faster of Sinai, and all the saints, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us. Let us say, with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray thee, pardon and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, pardon and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Archbishop Paul, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
King, we pray for this God protected land, its president, all civil authorities, and the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy Orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy house, for all our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the newly departed Archpriest Jan, John, Metropolitan Theodosius, and Vicky, Sandra, Yuri, Metropolitan Amphiloki, together with Frank, Stephen, Anne, Paul, and Ivan, Nicholas, Gerald, Vivian, Mary, Nicole, Catherine, Olga, Constance, Lorraine, Ila, Mary, Walter, Marianne, Nadezhda, John, and Nicholas, all those whom we have in mind, here and throughout the world, by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, help, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, for the brethren of this holy community, for those who are absent and abroad, for all those who have asked us to pray for them, and especially for Susan, the Archpriest David, and Michael, Linda, Michael, Rita, Peter, Lorraine, Philip, Nancy, Adele, Rachel, Jacob, Carol, Cheryl, Yiftim, Jacob, Maria, Montigny, the Archpriest Vladimir in Virginia, Archpriest Eugene, Kathleen, Betty, Jane, Robert, Dimitri, Natalia, Lisa, Maria, Peter, Dorothy, Nicholas, Elizabeth, Christopher, Thomas, Janice, William, Kathleen, Luke, Peggy, Elizabeth, Maya, Alexander, Andrew, Victoria, Lazar, Theodosia, Amanda, William, Chris, Anna Marie, for Julia and Justin, Irene and Luca, Jane and Christos, Marisa and Josh, Ashley and Joseph, the children to be born to them, victims of violence, disease, and disaster, here and throughout the world, and those who help and serve them, and all those who we have in mind, and for the pardon and remission of our sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who serve and those who sing, for all the people here present, who with thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
represent the cherubim and to sing the thrice holy name. How may I sign on? Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of All America and Canada, His Eminence Paul, Archbishop of Chicago and the Midwest, may the Lord God remember in His kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. And you and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember you in His kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Holy 
holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
those holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Among the first, remember, O Lord, our Metropolitan Teton, our Arch. 
Archbishop Paul, grant them for thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days. Grant thee to divide the word of thy truth. Remember, O Lord, the cities in which we dwell, every city and country place, those who in faith dwell in them. Remember, O Lord, travelers by land, by sea, by air, the sick, the suffering, captives in their salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good in my holy churches, those who remember the poor, upon us all send down thy mercies. Remember especially, O Lord, thy servant Susan, Archbishop David, and Michael, Linda and Michael, Rita, Peter, Lorraine, Philip, Nancy, Adele, Rachel, Jacob, Carol, Cheryl, Yepkim, Jacob, Maria, Fotini, Archpriest Vladimir, Virginia, the Archpriest Eugene, Kathleen, Betty, Jane, Robert, Dimitri, Natalia, Maria, Lisa, Peter, Dorothy, Nicholas, Elizabeth, Christopher, Thomas, Janice, William, Kathleen, Luke, Betty, Elizabeth, Maya, Georgi, Alexander, Andrew, Victoria, Lazar, Theodosia, Amanda, William, Chris, Anna Marie, Julia and Justin, Irene and Luca, Jane and Christos, Larissa and Josh, Ashley and Joseph, the children to be born to them. All those who uh, remember at this time, together with victims of violence, disease and disaster, here and throughout the world, and those who help and serve them. And grant that with one mouth and with one heart, we may glorify and praise thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. No, and ever and after the ages of ages. Amen. And in the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again, yet again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord God, who loves mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, and noetic altar as an odor of sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, anger, danger, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, and mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, o Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Oh, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask for oh, Having mean, asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee. worthy to partake of the heavenly and dread miseries of the sacred and spiritual table with a pure conscience, remission of sin, and the communion of the Holy Spirit for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards thee, but not for judgment or for condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call on thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say,
the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came to the world and saved sinners. I believe also that this is truly thine own most perfect God, and that this is truly thine own precious God. Therefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntarily and voluntarily, of word and of deed. Committed in knowledge and ignorance, and may be worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries for the remission of my sins unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemies. Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries, neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of the soul of God.
Thy precious blood, the prayers of our mother. O God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Strengthen us all in thy fear. Guard our life. May firm our steps with the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. For thou art our sanctification, and we glorify thee, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them in return by thy divine power, and forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy church, and to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, and to all thy people, for all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down to me the Father of lights, and unto thee we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Christ of all.
supplication of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints Nicholas, Archbishop of Myron, Lycia the Wonder Worker, of our holy fathers and mothers among the saints, whom we commemorate on this day, and especially our venerable fathers, John the Merciful, Archbishop of Alexandria, Nihilus the Faster of Sinai, John the Hairy, fool for Christ at Rostov, Nihilus uh, the Burgusher of Athos, of Martin the Merciful, Bishop of Tours, of, the, of John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he alone is good and the lover of mankind. like to get back to venerating the cross in some way, which I think is a good thing, then I will just put it on your head when you come up. Thank you. 